everybody, it's Lara from Fairy Fox Design, and today I cannot wait to introduce you to henna. I know for a lot of people it's something that they've been exposed to, maybe they've had it once or twice, and there's this like lingering little feeling of like, I want to know more about henna, I wish I could do henna, maybe someday I'll do henna. I am the big sibling that's going to push you in the pool, you know, <laughs> it's like, you've been on the edge long enough you're ready, boom. So I'm gonna teach you the very, very minimum stuff that I would wanna know if I was being introduced to it all over again. All you need is a henna cone. This little tiny thing, that's it. That's my kit right there. And not only will this do one henna, but this could do several. So how are you going to get that henna? You wanna make sure that you're using all natural, real henna. That is like the one important thing you need to know. There are all kinds of online retailers that can give you fresh henna ready to go. And you just take that henna, you put it on top of the skin and you wait. And the skin and the henna is gonna do the rest of the work. It really is so simple. I've seen so many different ways of holding the cone. This is how I hold mine. I have this finger right here that's gonna support it. I've got these two fingers that are gonna squeeze from the top and help move it around. And I've got this thumb and the back of this finger that are going to be adding pressure. But really, all you're trying to do is figuring out a way how to squish the paste out of the tip. Then, try making some really fun marks. Start with dots. Dots are such an easy shape to create. You can do giant ones by squeezing a lot. The next thing we want to do is like a teardrop. And so it starts exactly the same way. It's a dot and then we just move a little bit. And then when I move, I stop squeezing. We can also do it in the opposite direction. We can put out a little bit of paste and we can move and then we can just start squeezing more. Whenever you see a design, break it down into those elements and then spend some time practicing those elements. And a line is as simple as just drawing a line in the air and then gravity is pulling that line down. This is called draping. And then another one that you'll see everywhere are these little bumps and these bumps can be fat, they can be thin, they can be tiny. And if you wanna do really tall skinny bumps, those are beautiful. So all of these little elements are things that you want to practice. So let's do our first little flower. We're gonna build a few simple elements together to create a very simple design. A circle comes from just a draped line that instead of going straight, we're going curly. And we just keep going in this nice tight spiral. Now, from here, we're gonna do just some nice little lumps all the way around. And you can see we're just creating this beautiful little flower. Now, this is beautiful. We could stop right there, but let's add one more petal. So we're gonna come up and we're gonna just think of the french fries at McDonald's and we're gonna do the golden arches right there. So we're gonna come up golden arch again, gonna arch and come back around, and now we've got a beautiful flower. Now we can add a little dot to the center of each petal, and that looks cute. We can also come in and add a little bit of weight to the edge of the petal. So we're starting right here and we're just squeezing a little harder and drawing a second line and now we've got our first flower and it looks great. And you'll see flowers like this all over in henna and it's absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look at one design of how it would fit on a hand. You can start with just a simple piece of paper and trace your hand. This is just a tool called uh, an acrylic hand and it's really nice to work on. And then when it's dry, I can just scrape it off. It doesn't stain at all. And you can practice both a left hand or a right hand by just flipping it over. When you look at a henna design, it looks very complicated, but we are building it up one piece at a time. It's just like a layered cake. Yes, they're gorgeous at the end, but they all start by building up from the bottom to the top. So when you look at a blank hand, don't try and envision the entire design there. Just start in one place and go from there. So we can start right here in the middle of the hand. And then let's go ahead and just do a dot at the bottom and at the top. And in order to get symmetry, it can be really nice to think of a compass or of a clock and to just go right around and to create something very simple. I love how much a henna design feels like a choose your own adventure story. And one of my favorite things to do is a group of four circles. 
So this takes some practice. And you can see that I'm holding my cone just a little bit above the surface and I'm letting the henna fall. Now we could do checkerboard like that by just doing dots in there, but I'm just now filling. This is also called flooding. And now we have this beautiful thin lines and thick lines and it's that diversity that's going to create beauty. We're gonna just pull a line up and pull a line up here and now it looks very jewelry it's kind of hanging and now we just are gonna do a line of those teardrop shape so here we're gonna just add those same teardrops to this side and the same teardrops to this side and it really just feels like building with Legos and we've got three dots that really kind of ground the bottom and then we'll come out a space and we'll do two dots, one last dot. So we have a nice pyramid and we want to repeat elements that creates like an echo, but it doesn't make it perfectly symmetrical. And look what a pretty design that is. It's so nice. And then of course we can come down here and we can create little fingertip designs and just something as simple as that I think is perfect. So we'll just do that on each of these fingertips. And of course, it's always hard to stop. There's always so much that you can do. And I can't wait to see what henna you create. Even if just one person says, I've always wanted to try henna and now I'm going to. That's what this video is all about. Please, please, please share your progress. This is with the paste still on the skin. The skin is gonna interact with the paste and it's going to get a stain. It's quite light when the paste first comes off and then it will darken over the next 24 to 48 hours. And so this stain on my hand right now is one day old. But the longer you leave the paste on the skin and the fresher the paste is and the higher quality the paste is, the darker the stain will be. I have absolutely loved henna for years and years. I love to do it, I love to have it, I love to look at it on social media. It is just such an incredibly beautiful art form. If this is something that you want in your life, make room for it in your life because it will bless you. It has definitely blessed me and I can't wait to see what you do. Comment down below if you have any questions, if this is something you're loving and you want to be able to mix your own paste, you wanna be able to really have a good foundation, I would love to have you come join my Skillshare class. And again, the link is down in the class description. Thanks guys.